Hi, this is Amy with Homeschool Tracker and welcome to our Getting Started Guide. In this video, we'll show you how to add assignments to the agenda. The beauty of Homeschool Tracker is the flexibility that allows you to use the program in a way that best suits you. There is no wrong way to use Homeschool Tracker. The following is just one way in which you may choose to use the program, but you are not limited to the instructions in this video. The only important rule is to use the program in the way in which it enhances your own homeschool experience. Also, if you ever have questions while working on a specific page, you can always click the help link located at the top right corner of every page, and it will take you to the corresponding documentation in our extensive user guide. Let's begin with adding a new assignment in the agenda calendar view. Click on add, then assignment, single. The only required fields for your assignment are student, date, and subject course. Subjects and courses can be added in advance under the Manage List section of the menu. The Subject Course field is a smart entry field, and there are four default subjects that can be accessed by hitting the spacebar. You can select one of these or create your own. A course is a specific area of study within a subject. For a subject of language arts, your courses might be composition or literature. For a subject of science, your courses might be biology, chemistry, or physics. In this case, I'm going to create a new course of geometry that will fall under the math subject. Since this is a completely new course, I can enter it into the Smart Entry field, and when I hit Save, I will be prompted to add this to my course list. I want to add this as a new course within the subject of math. Since I didn't specify a time for this assignment, it is shown as an all-day assignment. You can also go back and edit an assignment by clicking on it and choosing More. I can then add a start and end time, an activity, in this case workbook, and then I'll add a resource. PLC stands for Page Lesson Chapter, and it is used for referencing the specific page or lesson number you want to cover in this assignment. If you are using the grading capabilities of Homeschool Tracker, you can add the points possible for the assignment. For more specific direction, you can add that using the Directions field. Hit save to save your changes and it will be updated in the agenda. There are a number of optional assignment fields available that are turned off by default. You can access these by clicking on program options in the menu and selecting optional fields. If the assignment is no longer necessary, you can easily delete it. Adding single assignments like this works great for one-off assignments. But what if I wanted Amy to have geometry every day at the same time? I can easily add recurring assignments using the Add Assignment Multiple function. I'll fill out the details for geometry just like before, set a start and end time, and continue on to day and date. Day and date allows you to set the pattern of days you want this assignment to occur. In this instance, we'll choose daily and select every one day. I'll set the start date and I'll select continue creating items until PLC pattern is exhausted. The page lesson chapter feature is optional, but it allows you to auto increment the page lesson or chapter numbers when creating multiple assignments. If you choose not to use the page lesson chapter, or if it's not applicable to these assignments, you only need to enter the number of copies you would like to create. In this case, I know my geometry workbook has 25 lessons, so I will select one part auto increment. I'll change the leading text to lesson, Start with number one and end with number 25. Increment by one, and I'll add one leading zero to my lesson numbers to help with sorting later. Next, I'll click Continue to Preview to see the list of assignments that will be created before adding them to the agenda. Here, you can double check the scheduling of all your assignments and make sure everything looks correct. If you need to make any changes, click on the Students in Details, day and date, or page lesson chapters tabs directly to go back to those screens. Clicking on return to agenda will exit you from this assignment entry, deleting everything that you've created so far. So only click on return to agenda if you want to cancel this entry altogether. In order to add some or all of these items to your agenda, you can select the individual items, click and drag to select a range, or you can click on select all. Click Accept selected items to add them to your agenda. Now we have an entry every day for geometry. The agenda calendar view is great for getting a quick look at your week or month, but the agenda list gives you more versatility in viewing your assignments. 
For example, the filters on the left side of the screen allow you to select a specific date range, view all or selected students, and more. You can also select which columns you would like displayed in the list. For example, we want to view PLC to see how our auto increment worked when adding our geometry assignments. The list view also gives you powerful sorting tools to view and group the assignments in your database. You can sort by any column by clicking the column header you wish to sort. Columns that you are sorting by are indicated by either an up or down arrow. Click the header again to turn off sorting by that column. You can also group assignments by a column by clicking and dragging the header here. This is useful as your database grows if you need to locate specific information. Selecting assignments and clicking on action gives you a number of powerful editing options such as duplicating assignments or multi-editing assignments that are only possible in the agenda list view. That does it for this Getting Started video. In our next video, we'll learn how to add chores and appointments to the agenda. Thanks for watching.